Okay, here's a little tip that I've just discovered, well, just made up to solve a problem that I have. And the problem that I have is that I download a lot of stuff from the internet. And um, Safari and Firefox on the Mac are all very efficient and they drop it in a downloads folder. But what I end up with is folders like this. This isn't actually my downloads folder, it's a backup of it, which I'll explain in a moment. Where I end up with loads of random stuff that I've downloaded off the internet, or I've installed a bit of software, or I've read the PDF, or whatever else, and it, it just accumulates in my downloads folder, and I get sick of it after a while. And I thought, what I need is a way of clearing that out ever so often, every so often. Um, something that will, will just get rid of the downloads, will back it up somewhere um, in case I decide I want those things later, but doesn't cr cloud up my or fill up my download folder because then when I download the next thing, I can't find what I'm looking for because there's so much other crap in there. You get the idea. Now, if you have this problem as well, and if you run a Mac, then you might want to venture into the automator. Now, I honestly can say I've never used the automator before. But I thought, I'll give it a go. This seems to be the kind of thing automators do. So what I did is when I opened up the automator, the first thing it asked me is, um, what template do I want to choose? And I had a look at the different ones. And I noticed this iCal alarm, which basically allows you to set up an automator that will run automatically at a set time. Perfect, I thought. So um, I opened that up. And the first thing that I needed to do was get the specified, um, get the folder that I wanted to work with, which was going to be my downloads folder. So I had a little look through um, files and folders and found this action called get specified finder item. When I then added downloads file. All right. So there's my downloads file. Um, and the output of that is my downloads folder. OK. Then I got a second one, and I joined the two together, which is get the folder's content, so get everything that was in the downloads folder. Um, and at the time of me running this, there was actually quite a lot in there. Then finally, I said move those items that it's, it's passed across, that it's found, into, in my case, downloads backup, which sits on um, a big old, well, I sits on my Drobo, which has got endless space in, and it can all be backed up neatly at that. And it was literally a matter, all you do is drag and drop stuff. Now, I'm sorry if this is blindingly obvious to most people, but I've never used the, the automator before. I found it really exciting. You literally drag and drop the items in the order you want them. And once you've got everything done, you can just run it, see whether it works. And you can see it's gone through and done each of these items. Um, it'll run the, the action, boom, boom, boom. In this case, it encountered an error because there were no items in the download folder. Um, so it wasn't able to copy anything. But if there is items, then it, it then copies them across. Bang, done. So I then saved it. And once I'd saved it, I then popped across into iCal and I discovered that a new calendar had been created called um, Automator. And it had created a, um, an item called Backup Downloads, which is what I saved out my automator um, thing as. And I could then go in and decide on what day I wanted it to run and at what time and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely brilliant. And it works perfectly and backs up all of my downloads and keeps my download folder nice and clean.